Global patterns in atmospheric circulation are driven by how flows of heat from low to high latitudes are deflected by the Coriolis effect. Layered on top of these global patterns are local and regional variations driven by things such as the presence of mountain ranges, vast expanses of water, and interactions between areas of open ocean and large land masses. One type of large regional pattern found in several parts of the world is the seasonal monsoon cycle. Most people associate the term monsoon with heavy rainfall. And while heavy rainfall can occur during parts of the monsoon cycle, the term actually describes a particular type of seasonal change in the prevailing wind direction. Different weather occurs during different parts of the cycle, with winds from one direction typically bringing wet, stormy weather, and winds from the other direction bringing drier weather. These changes in wind direction are driven by the fact that land and water gain and lose heat differently. In the summer, when solar insulation is high, both land and water absorb a lot of solar energy. Due to the relatively low specific heat of soil and rocks, the heat absorbed by land radiates more quickly into the atmosphere, while the high specific heat of water allows the water temperatures to rise more slowly, resulting in a slower release of heat to the atmosphere above the water. This difference in the heating of the air above land and water creates conditions where the air above the land is warmer than the air above the water. This temperature difference means the air pressure over land is lower relative to the air pressure over the ocean. This results in the formation of a pressure gradient, with rising air above land creating a region of convergence, which draws air in from regions of higher pressure over the water. This in turn causes the prevailing winds to blow from the water to the land during the warmer parts of the year. When the seasons change to winter conditions with less solar insulation, both the land and water absorb less energy from the sun. Under these conditions, the relatively low specific heat of land relative to water means that the land cools quickly, leaving it unable to radiate much energy to the atmosphere, while the water in the oceans, which had warmed more slowly during the summer, now also cool more slowly, allowing the water in the oceans to continue to radiate significant amounts of energy to the atmosphere long after the land has lost most of its heat. With air temperatures now higher over the water, the high and low pressure systems flip, as does the pressure gradient and the prevailing wind direction. Along with the change in wind direction, the two parts of the monsoon cycle are associated with different types of weather. During the summer, the prevailing winds blow moisture-laden air from the ocean to the land, where this air warms and starts to rise. As it rises, it cools. As it cools, it releases water, which falls as rain. This is the cause of the intense storm events associated with the wet monsoon season. The summer or warmer monsoon season is associated with warm, wet, stormy weather, and relatively high winds due to the strong pressure gradient between land and sea. In the winter, when the regions of high and low pressure flip and winds blow from land to sea, the rising air and stormy weather occur out to sea, making conditions over land during the winter monsoon cooler, drier, with less storms, and often lighter winds due to the fact that the pressure gradient between land and sea is not as great. These figures give a good representation of the dynamics that cause the monsoon cycle, but it is important to understand the scale of these patterns. These are large patterns occurring across huge areas. A classic example is the Indian monsoon. In the summer, a low pressure system forms over the subcontinent, causing air to be drawn from the surrounding oceans. This moisture-laden air causes the dramatic stormy weather associated with summer monsoons. In the winter, as the land cools more quickly than the surrounding water, a high pressure system forms over the subcontinent, causing the reversal of the winds that define the monsoon cycle. This change in wind direction brings cooler, drier, and calmer weather. Western Australia, on the other side of the equator, also has monsoon seasons. In the Australian summer, which runs from November to April, prevailing winds blow from west, bringing wet, stormy weather. In the winter, winds reverse direction, blowing offshore, creating drier conditions. In addition to the classic wet and dry monsoons seen in India and Australia, monsoon cycles occur in tropical Africa, Southeast Asia, South and Central America, and even up into parts of North America. The details of each monsoon pattern is different due to variations in the size and shape of the land and water masses involved, differences in local terrain, and differences in the strength and position of the high and low pressure systems that drive prevailing winds in each season. But all of these are characterized by seasonal changes in wind direction and the resulting alternation between wet and dry conditions.